हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हब सो गाइज दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ अवर चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस चैनल एंड वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड येस आई नो यू ऑल हैव माई कन्फ्यूज अबाउट वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस चैनल एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज आर गोइंग टू कम ऑन दिस चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी क्लियर यूर ऑल द डाउट्स द चैनल नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट्स विच काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज आर गोइंग टू बी येस यू हर्ड राइट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हब आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ अवेयरनेस जर्नी अबाउट द वन ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांचेस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल most of the people are not even know what is the instrumentation engineering i am a instrumentation engineer and whenever i tell about my branch most people questions me what is this instrumentation yes instrumentation is not as popular as other branches like computer science it mechanical but you can still make a good career in this field so basically in this channel we are going to see what is instrumentation and control engineering what are the career opportunities available in this engineering branch and what are the fundamental subjects of this branch are important and also this channel is going to be very useful for those who are preparing for interviews and in this video we are going to see basic introduction of the instrumentation and control engineering so you have got a idea now let's begin with the very first question that is what is instrumentation instrumentation is a branch which is basically studies the physical parameter and helps in designing a system which can control that physical parameters here is the first question arrives that what is physical parameter don't worry let me explain physical parameter are those that can affect living or non living things let's see which are those parameters so you will get a clear idea so first parameter is temperature everyone knows what is the temperature and how it affects the living as well as non living devices also you all know that temperature is a measurable parameter and it can be controlled second parameter is a flow we know flow parameter like uh, we uh, call that it is the, this is the water flow this is the steam flow this is the air flow and we know that flow is controllable the third parameter is pressure pressure is one kind of force that acting on the object uh this can be a water pressure air pressure or a solid pressure now the fourth parameter fourth parameter is a humidity yes humidity is a water content or the moisture content in the atmosphere and humidity is also a measurable and it can be controlled next parameter is level so basically level is used for showing the quantity or the amount like uh, how much is the level of water and level is also a measurable parameter next parameter is a speed everyone knows what is the speed and it is a physical parameter and it is also a measurable quantity okay so these are not the all param these are not all the physical parameters there are some others apart from these like motion vibration stress acceleration displacement position etc so measurement of these physical parameters and controlling of it is the major part of the instrumentation and control in short you can say instrumentation is all about measurement and control yes but it doesn't mean this is the complete instrumentation there are so many amazing factors are there we are going to discuss all that in further video one by one don't worry so up till now you have understood what is instrumentation now i will tell you 
what are the different applications and how instrumentation used in industries you can see one application on the screen this is a simple industrial robotic arm which is designed to do a specific task and man from the remote location is controlling that robotic arm by sending some kind of information behind this system there is a instrumentation there are instrumentation components are used like controllers sensors communication devices controlling devices don't worry we are going to see all these terms in details in further videos for now just understood what is the role of instrumentation in industrial applications okay so now this is the second example this is a automatic bottle filling application one more thing here there is a no operator it is a fully automatic system and it also required the same components that are required for the previous system so in short instrumentation plays a major role in industrial applications okay i think you have got the basic idea about what is instrumentation yeah that was for the today's video as in this video we have covered the what is instrumentation what is the role of instrumentation in industrial applications okay so in the upcoming videos we are going to see we are going to learn details about the instrumentation and control and in the next video i am going to share the content that we are going to learn throughout this channel okay so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next video till then tata bye bye and just one more request don't forget to like share and comment